we got a little bit of snow last night and this is the kind that sits on the wires and sits on the trees. This is actually the pretty kind of snow. And the sky is really kind of grayish. But yeah, this is the snow that sits just coming down. And there's my little doggy footprints. A winter wonderland. Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. I was thinking after my picture slideshow, I got a lot of questions and um, one of the questions was what type of camera did I use? Well, I don't have that camera anymore, but it was a film camera where you had to send the film out and wait for it to come back and it was one that you popped the top up and you just kind of looked down in and you could see the picture there you didn't have to put anything up to your eye but I did bring down some cameras that I had a long time ago this is a, a Canon that I had years ago and it took film only I'd have to unscrew it here from this bottom because Jim told me that's how they mount it to the tripod if you wanted to put it on a tripod. But look at how narrow they are. This one you had to, to um, and there's the lens, you had to focus by hand. There was no automatic anything to it. And, when, and you had film to put in it. Where's the roll of film? It's back there. You had to put film inside this one. And so you had to, the film came in these little things like this. 35 millimeter yeah, film. Yeah, give me the box. I'll show the box. And the box looked like, this is what the boxes looked like. And there's the film, pictures of the film inside. Um, they had, the film is, I've got film in here. I actually have a whole box of film that I've never used and this one's a brand new one too and you used to open them up and then you had to lay the put the film in here you had to pull this little tabby thing out get the film down into it and then you had to stretch it across and you had to catch it on there's little teeth here and then you would close it up push the thing back down you had to um, Pull the handle a few times and shoot a few times so that because now you've exposed the first couple pictures probably and then you had to look inside the little viewfinder and take a picture and hope you got the picture because there was no way of knowing whether you got it or not so that was that one and this one was the one that I, I went to after my little um, brownie, brownie camera that you looked down into here you can have these also they had cameras that were a little bit they were kind of advanced but these cameras used a cartridge and to open these you had to pretty much do the same thing you had to open the thing up and you had to slot the door open and you used to drop your drop the, used to drop a cartridge I don't have any of that kind and you used to drop it in and it used to close it up and you could take your picture I guess it was up here and to wind it you had this dial in the back you wound and then you clicked wound and clicked and when you were done you take this little handle and you would twirl it and it used to bring the film back over to the side it started on and when it stopped you'd hear a feel a clunk clunk and then you knew you were done and you could you could um, send it out to get developed and then you waited for it to come back this was a more expensive of the of the cameras this one was a cheaper one this little keystone I've got another one. I've actually got a, I've got a panorama one. This is one that took real wide pictures, and that one did the same. But this is a cheapy one, real cheap. It feels cheap even. <laughs> and then there was this Panasonic Keystone, or um, Keystone Everflash. Everflash, yeah. 
This one had an automatic flash built in, which was kind of nice. But you look through the little viewfinder. And this one was also a cartridge load that you drop your cartridge in and shut it. I think it was a cartridge load. Mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah, and it's a one ton. Yeah. I used to use the 400, and you had a button on the back because now it had an electronic thingamahoozy that you could. So you had to have a battery in this one. I don't know where the battery would go. I don't remember. It's, it's been too long. Somewhere. It's been too long since I've even looked at this camera. Now, today, the cameras, you take a picture. Oh, you want to give me yours? His was an upgrade of mine. His was electronic, yeah. The case, he, his... His was an SLR, but his case is really... My case was a nice leather case. His is an algahyde, probably. I don't know. You take it out. I don't know how yours comes out. It's got too many snaps on the back. It's got the snaps on the top, snaps on the bottom. That's if you want to take that right off. It's, no, don't rip it. It's too old. It might break there. Okay. His was his had an electronic flash. Oh, it will come all the no, way out. No, no flash. Won't. No flash? No, I had a electronic flash. It was single lens reflex. Single reflects, lens? Which, oh. when you look through the viewfinder, you actually yeah. look through the lens just like your digital. Yep. And the lenses are, these were these were high class at they, one time. And it was, had an interchangeable <laughs> lens. And he's I got did have other lenses. Okay, then <clears throat> when you had all your pictures, you oh, there's another camera I forgot. Somebody asked about an Instamatic. I have never used an Instamatic, but my husband has. And this one, I opened it once, and I forgot how I opened it. How did I open it? Clip somehow up here. There. There's a clip that opens it. I don't know. Anyways, it was... Oh, that's... What's this do? I wonder. I don't know how to work this thing. I know I opened the door... And the film, oh, maybe it was down here. Yeah, I did. I opened the door. You would slide your cartridge in there, close the door, I would imagine. Mm -hmm. Yes. And when you took your picture, the picture came out. It went, and then you used to, some people used to fan them. I don't know if that helped or not, but I don't think so. But you were supposed to keep it where it wasn't into the daylight right away, and you counted up to 90 or 60 or 90. I don't know what you counted to. And then you'd look at it, and there you were. You had your picture. Okay, that you can take. And when you took these, when you got these pictures taken, this is later in years, you would, you would have photo albums, and the photo albums would have pictures in them. Actually, this is one of the older ones. You had to crank. Oh, you had to crank that one? You had to crank oh. the picture out. Oh, That's gee. That's what that is. Let me show that. Okay, his wasn't an automatic one. You had to crank the picture out. <laughs> Funny. Okay, here, take your, your, your very instant, instant print. Instant instant print. print. Camera. Okay. Um, when we would, when you would want to show pictures of your grandkids, you didn't whip out your phone. You whipped out a little thing that you carried in your purse, and in there would be pictures of of your family or friends or whatever. And a lot of times, they're so cute little twins. Um, they're now very old. They're in their 30s um, Actually, or 40s. Their Maybe 40s. they're 40s. I don't know. 40s. They're pretty old now. Um, but you used to pull one of these out to show your pictures. And to store your pictures, everybody had photo albums. This is just one of mine. This was one that I think was one of my first photo albums that I had. And you would put your pictures in here. You have these fold there are things that you could put your pictures in. I don't know what you're seeing. You're seeing a lot of stuff. Maybe you're seeing nothing, but there's, this is photo albums. And today, people don't have photo albums. And then, when got tired of, then because of the digital age, we all started putting pictures on DVDs. CDs. Or CDs. If you wanted to print them out, you put them on a CD. If you didn't care whether you could print them out or not, they went on a DVD. 
Actually, they started out CDs only CDs because only? they didn't have DVD burners. Well, then. and then because my family has six children, I did a photo box. My mother had one little photo box of pictures because they didn't have a camera. And what pictures they did have, I put on these CDs for my family and they can they can print out the pictures that are on these. These are every single picture that I took a picture of a picture. And this picture is actually the cover. I'll show you. It's it's real. It says my last name. <laughs> But it's got my mother in it, but the picture isn't, she's not in it. That was at her, that was at our house. This was a colored picture of it. And you're seeing the currant bushes and the gooseberry bushes. And you're seeing, I don't know what you're seeing, but you're seeing that stuff. So that was it. That was my thought of today was how people don't have pictures. They just have the camera and it's on the computer and Photo albums. My kids still love looking at the photo albums. I actually have a photo album that just has the one child in it, and then it has them both in it. And then the, it seemed like the more kids you had, the less pictures you took. And with the grandkids, because of digital, you've taken a lot of pictures. But my poor kids, it was still film, unfortunately. So that's it for today, it's reminiscing about pictures and film and photo albums and how it has advanced and now we all have digital cameras and a lot of people have cameras on their phone and so when they whip out their phone to show pictures that's where the phone pictures are coming from no longer are you carrying these cute little picture books this was a passport book actually but it had the little pages that you could put pictures in and you'd get pictures of your friends or, or your little grandkids would be in. This has got my high school stuff in it. Ah, oh, and that's my niece. Now she's pretty old, too. <laughs> that fell out. And that's what we had. So that's it. I hope you all had a... What, what, what started you thinking about photographs? I was, I was actually, from yesterday's video and then today, I was watching a thing where it had the jump drive or whatever it was where a stick a little photo stick that you could put all your pictures on and I thought hmm that's what a did, good idea. What did you start looking for first? Though? Oh I started looking for our wedding anniversary our wedding photos you know our wedding was taken on a reel to reel I couldn't find the reel to reel but I did have it put on a DVD Back when we got married, they had 16 80, millimeter. Yeah, six, it's not not what they have now. And no. even the VHS tapes or the video cameras, I didn't bring them out because this is. I have to put all this stuff away, and I don't want to put this <laughs> stuff away. So I didn't drag everything out. And then there's also a different video camera that we had to actually be plugged in, but that's in the attic somewhere, and I can't find it. So we're not going to share that for a while. And then there's other electronic things or things that the kids don't know about, like the reel-to-reel -reel, um, tape recorders and then the tape to tape recorders and then the cassette and the eight tracks and the, oh gosh. And then they had the iPods or they had the little MP3, MP3 players and then the iPod. And it's just kind of gone on and on and on. And these things, I have a lot of wires in the other room on stuff that I don't even know what they go to anymore because they aren't used. So that's it. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. This maybe you can reminisce about. Bye.